Welcome to the installation video for the Trade Pro Constant Torque Aftermarket ECM Blower Motor. This motor is pre-programmed with a universal profile specifically designed to be a drop-in replacement for the 5-pin X13 type electronically commutated motor or ECM. These motors can be identified by the 5-pin rectangular connector plug as shown here. When counting the number of pins, remember we are counting the low voltage connections. When unboxing the motor, confirm you have the following items. The motor with Read Me First stickers, one sticker outlines the important wiring, and the second contains a QR code to download or view the installation and troubleshooting manual. Wiring harness bag with high and low voltage wiring connectors, and voltage change plug, which is taped to the motor. After troubleshooting the system and diagnosing that the motor needs to be replaced, you can begin the process of replacing the motor by turning off the power to the system. Remember, the high voltage connections are energized anytime the system voltage is on. Open the system and remove the blower housing. Disconnect the high and low voltage wiring harnesses from the motor and remove the original EC motor from the blower housing. Now remove the belly band bracket from the motor being replaced. If the bracket is in good condition, it can be used with your new Trade Pro motor. You will need a new bracket if the current one is damaged or the original motor bracket was welded to the motor shell. Verify the key specs, horsepower, RPM, and voltage of the new motor match those of the original motor being replaced. The new Trade Pro motor ships set up for 208-230 volt. If the system you're working on is a 115 volt system, locate the white 115 voltage change plug which was taped to the motor. Open the black plastic door marked 230 volt and firmly insert the 115 voltage change plug. Your motor is now set up for 115 volt. Mount the new motor in the bracket and attach to the blower wheel. The belly band can be positioned anywhere on the motor shell, not on the motor control. The preferred position is at the midpoint between the motor vents. When mounting the motor in the belly band bracket, ensure that the drip slot is positioned at or near 6 o'clock. This will allow any condensation to drain from the motor. In most cases, you can reconnect the electrical connections from the original motor. If additional length is needed, the wires are damaged, or you would like the option to select different torque settings, you can use the included replacement wiring harness. When attached to the motor, the red lead is 40% of full speed, orange is 50, blue is 65, yellow 80, and finally black is 100% of full speed. Verify the correct connections for the different operating modes on the wiring diagram located on the inside panel of the furnace or air handler. These connections can also be found in the manual for the furnace or air handler. Reinstall the blower housing into the system. Power the system on and adjust the thermostat to call for heat, cool, or continuous fan. This will initiate the auto sensing rotation process. The motor will run clockwise for 15 to 30 seconds, pause, and then counterclockwise. The direction with the most torque or load will be stored. The direction of rotation has now been programmed. After this process is complete, ensure there is a call for heat or cool. Remember to give the system time for any thermostat or startup delays. Confirm the CFM and temperature deltas meet the OEM requirements for both modes of operation. These requirements can be found in the operations manual for the equipment. Thank you for taking the time to view this installation video for the Trade Pro Constant Torque Aftermarket Replacement Motor. If you need additional support, contact your favorite Trade Pro Wholesale Distributor.